Welcome to our, uh, well, let's get thanked for later. It's a big room. Welcome to our 2022 winter concert. I'm glad to see you here. I'm glad it's still December because it looked like for a while there might be January before we got this done. Uh, please, uh, not just these guys, but the ones who's coming later too, have worked very hard uh, this semester. Uh, and we'll be sharing some musical moments with you. After the concert, there will be cookies and coffee out in the cafeteria out there. And there is a big sheet of white paper on the wall. There's like a concert shout out. So if you have any positive feedback to any of the special kids or special group or sections, please feel free to write on there. Um, we will perform a variety of music today. Uh, there will be some music you've heard before, some that you have not. There will be some Disney like you just heard. This was Frozen. There will be some Christmas music as well in here. And like Monty Python would say, and now for something completely different, Renaissance music, Misere May. One from Yamaha, the premier multi-sound synthesizer of the time, with accompaniment from uh, marimba. Uh, the remainder of the melody is contributed by the CS80, a brassy, more as atmospheric synth. Uh, there's instruments including bass, snare, hi-hat, congas, cowbell shaker, and a uh, makeshift walking stick, stick with Pepsi bottle caps attached. Uh, due to different uh, circumstances outside of my control, uh, I came up with a Yamaha piano and a three-piece choir. Uh, here's Africa.
The next piece uh, is from Handel's opera Almira. We're doing this to save time for you later so you don't have to wait through a, a change of scene up here so now the next group is going to get ready for uh, the next piece is from Hamel's uh, opera Omira, uh, where the main character is being uh, kept captive, and she's longing for her lover, and she, her, the text is basically, let me weep over my cruel fate, and let me sigh for liberty. May sorrow shatter these chains of my torments out of pity alone. to this multi-layered textures, a seasonal, seasonal madrigal. I'm struggling with my second language tongue today, as figured.
when we do have a concert in the, uh, in the evening, uh, we spend about two hours during the day on a dress rehearsal. That means practicing walking in, out, knowing what piece, in what order. The snow and the wind took that from us. So there is a little bit of like small little things that you may not notice, but I may express it somehow or show it. Uh, I do apologize. These guys are doing great. Uh, but of course, my I'm used to us having two hour dress rehearsal in the middle of the day. Uh, we lost about a week that year. Uh, but here we are. Uh, so, junior high band, uh, there are two, two different classes actually, it's 7th grade band and 7th grade uh, or 8th grade band. Uh, they do have different class time, but for concerts we do put them together. Uh, the first uh, work they're going to play is Rhythm Mania, which uh, about two thirds of them really like. The rest of them like uh, uh, the last piece a lot. This one uh, has a lot of rhythms, obviously, uh, and it's exciting. Rhythm Mania. Not growing up in this country, there's a lot to learn. Even though our Christmas traditions have a lot of things in common, one thing that did not appear to me until not too many years ago was, of course, the story about the Grinch. Uh, and the first thing I saw was, I guess, the Jim Carrey version of the movie. Uh, however, this next piece uh, is from the 1966 animated television adaption, uh, The Joyous Sounds Rising from Whoville, Welcome Christmas.
Uh, new this year as well is we're trying to incorporate uh, a narrator to our music. So uh, in exploring the musical sounds of different cultures through a familiar carol, uh, the students will hopefully take you on a journey. Uh, we're going to try and take jingle bells around the world. sound of jingle bells. It is a traditional song that everybody loves to sing. The band has been wondering how this melody might sound in other parts of the world. Come with us as we travel musically from country to country with jingle bells around the world. First to Germany and a German band. is Eastern Europe. Let us imagine the Cossacks dancing to their own version of Jingle Bells. Mexico to hear the way jingle bells might be played south of the border. jingle bells the way we like it best, in the American style. section with uh, a piece called Sax Attack, uh, self-explanatory. Uh, there is one section that's a little bit featured, uh, and it's not the trumpets.
ago, I had four students, actually it was one student out of these, that approached me and said, uh, you know, last time I played this piece, uh, you know that week that we lost the rehearsals? Uh, we, we could have used that. <laughs> and I'm going, you're right, you're right. I mean, that was in the plans that, you know, we're planning to have a uh, uh, dress rehearsal. And so I, I asked that student to talk to some of the other older students. Uh, and they said, yeah, not a bad idea. So we're uh, going to play the first piece for you, the, the, the music from Pirates. We're doing that one in May. So come back in May if you want to hear it. Um, but they felt better that way. And of course, this is why we have dress rehearsals, because now the rest of the band, you see what they're doing? They didn't know about this. Uh, whew, keeping us on our toes. So the first piece we're going to play for you is Rippling Watercolors. Not the first piece you want to play for an audience. It's slow. It's not very exciting, like fast and exciting, but it's really imaginary and like, like, as the composer says, when I give watercolors to my children, who knows what they will draw? It can be anything from something magnificent to something like out in space, or it can be something small. We don't know where this imagina imagination is going to take them. Uh, and that's sort of with this piece too. It starts with some few notes, uh, and we don't know really where it's going to go, uh, but it sure goes in a nice place, I think. Here's rippling watercolors.
in and out. Is when we wanted this song. In some European Christmas traditions, Saint Nick does not work alone. It travels with Krampus, who uh, gives out punishments to, to bad boys and girls. This work serves as a darkly delightful Christmas piece intended to educate, entertain, and creep you out. This is the words from the composer. Here's Christmas Tale, narrated by Miss Hurst. If you've been good, child, on Christmas you'll find the toys and the gifts that St. Nick left behind. But if you've been bad, child, St. Nick won't be there. Instead comes the Krampus and then, child, be But if you've been awful, most terribly bad, 
then worse will await you, young lasses and lads. He'll grab you and stuff you down deep in a sack. He'll take you away and you'll never come back. you'll find the presents and gifts that Saint Nick left behind. But if you've been bad, child, Saint Nick won't be there. Instead comes a Krampus and then, child, That's all it takes.
Gustav Holst wrote a seven movement orchestral suite called The Planet. We're going to play just a brief cut from one of them, so don't worry, I'll get you home before Christmas. Um, each movement of the suite is named after a planet, um, and we're going to do a little bit from Mars. Uh, Mars is very relentless. It's for us in a little odd time signature, so we can't necessarily like dance to it, or it's in five. So we count those five all the whole time. We're used to counting to two or four or sometimes three if you're like Wolf or Polka, I guess. Uh, and it's like it's some dissonance, so it's clashing, uh, but it starts soft and then it ends fairly brutal. Here's a, our little version of Marx. Choir, junior high choir. We talked a little bit about uh, how it is to be in band and choir and how we all count on each other. Because guess what? If there's only one person who starts, we all maybe know how that feels, uh, that we count on everyone else to make sound at the same time. That we count on each other to help each other and so we're not left alone. Uh, so we're going to Sing. Obviously, this is not maybe why he wrote the song, but it's called Count on Me, the first song we're going to sing. Uh, Count on Me.
that's living inside of us uh, and it seems to be more lively uh, the younger the children are. I don't know why we grow up, some of you grow up, I never grow out of it, I guess because I'm still working with music, but we all like shut down our, our creativity, like I can't draw, I can't sing. Well, we all, most of us were born being able to do it and you could contribute in your own way. So this song is about the music that's inside of us. summer. 
the heat, and forget about the snowblower. Frozen beards, for those of you who have. Yeah. Here's a little bit about what Christmas time brings and the joy it installs. I guess it depends on your point of view, doesn't it? You can have both. Both be glad for Christmas and look out and say, no, oh, I gotta go out shovel again. Our next piece, Solfege Song. Uh, solfege is a different way to label the pitches in a scale. Uh, the most famous song with that, I guess, is Do Re Mi from Sound of Music. Uh, but it is a system, instead of calling the pitches C, D, E, F, G, or green, blue, yellow, uh, and we use that quite a bit, both in junior high choir and high school choir, to practice some techniques. Uh, and then, once in a while, I find a piece of music that uses it in the music. So here's Soul Fed Song. Thank <laughs> you. 
business is here. rehearsal we rehearse this together first.